What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to explore negative numbers for the first time. Let's go. Okay, what do we need to remember? We need to remember that a number line is infinite in both directions. Well, what does infinite mean? Infinite means it can go on forever. So there's no end to the numbers. We could just keep writing bigger and bigger numbers in both directions. So what does that mean? Well, if we're starting from our number zero here, everything to the right along our number line we call positive numbers. And here we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But what I'm saying is we could go on forever. We could end up with numbers as big as this. And I can't even say this number that I've just written on the screen. But we could go on forever. So what are negative numbers? Well, negative numbers are just on the other side of the zero. So if we call this group our positive numbers, these then become our negative numbers. And just as a matter of fact, zero is called the origin, almost like saying the start. So what is a negative number and when might you see it? Well, let's imagine that I have five pounds. So I would find my five pounds on the number line. There it is. But let's say, oh no, I owe my mum 10 pounds. That means I owe her, so I'm going to have to subtract 10 pounds. So if I had to give my mum 10 pounds, I would come back down my number line. So I'd come 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I would actually end up having minus five pounds, or in other words, negative five. Let's look at another example. Let's imagine I have negative seven. I've already got a debt. I owe something. So I have minus seven. But let's say someone gives me, so I add 10 pounds. Now, because I'm adding, I'm going to come up my number line. So I would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and I would land on 3. So I would actually end up finishing with a positive 3. And when we're talking about positives, we don't need to put the plus in front of it. If it's a number on its own, we just know it's positive. So when might else we see negative numbers? Well, what about the weather? Now, if you live in the UK, currently as I'm recording this, it's February the 9th, and I know, because my brother lives there, that it's snowing in the north of England, and the temperature is negative 4. But where my mum and dad live, it's positive 3. And 0, the origin, is the mark for freezing. So on a thermometer, my mum and dad's house would show 3 degrees, but my brother's house would show minus four degrees, colder than freezing. Let's do one more example. Let's say I started already owing, and I owe two, so I'm on negative two. Now this time, let's imagine I have to give more away, so I'm gonna subtract five. Which way along my number line am I going to go this time? Well, because I'm having to subtract five, I'm not going to be getting more, more would be coming up my number line, I'm going to be getting less, which is to the left of my number line. So if I'm on negative 2 now, and I need to take 5 away, I'm going to make 5 jumps, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I would end up with negative 7. So what do we need to remember about negative numbers? Well, we need to remember that both positive and negative numbers can go on forever. We also need to remember that zero is kind of like saying the start, it's the origin. So it's neither positive nor negative. And then the numbers directly to the right and left of the origin are one and minus one, and they're gonna go up in sequence, but to the right is positive and down to the left is negative. And we also need to remember that we can get into debt with numbers. I can owe an amount. So here's a little activity for you. Can you work out the green, orange and red chili challenge? Use the number line on the screen to help you. Press pause on the video now. Good luck. And there you go. That is a brief introduction to negative numbers. There's lots we could learn about negative numbers, but this was just an introduction. 
Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, head on over to themathshelter.com where you're going to get lots more videos to cover everything in the UK curriculum. But for now guys, see you in another video. Peace out.